Well, last week we played them, we made one more play than them. And this week we played them and they made one more play than us. Um, as I told the team in the locker room, you know, our season won't be defined by this game. Uh, I, I won't let anybody define our season by this game. Uh, we won the regular season championship. We won 21 games. Um, we had a bad night tonight. Again, I'll give Akron all the credit in the world. Uh, they made one more play than we did. Questions for SB Matthews. Uh, Derek, just kind of talk about the, the final minute there. I mean, the final couple minutes, you're up four. Um, they make a three, and then you guys got a couple of chances and couldn't get it. Um, like Coach said, you know, they made one more play than us. We, we, we tried to fight through it, be tough get the stops that we needed. We just didn't get the last one that we needed. Jimmy, what about your battles tonight with Pat Forsythe? It seemed like he was uh, almost at full health back from the turf toe. Uh, just a quick comment about, about your battles with him tonight. No, I was just trying not to uh, let him get the ball low and uh, just try to work. And uh, it wasn't good enough. One of the key gentlemen in the game was when they, about midway through the second half, uh, Akron started to drive the ball to the basket and with, with some big effectiveness. Can you talk about that change in strategy that, that seemed to change the game, and, uh, change the momentum of the game in, the, in your mind? Um, I felt like we was too hugged up on our mans on the on the weak side. I felt like we didn't we wasn't in help like we should have been, so that gave them driving lanes. You know, we, we was playing it uh, all game, being in help and I think in the second half we just let it we kinda stayed glued to our man. They started making a couple couple threes, so we you know, that opened up the lane and that's how they got layups and driving lanes. Seniors, but um, they played a great year. Like we had a great year. So we just got to remember this. No further questions for Derek. We're going to let you guys get back to the locker room. We'll let Coach Sender off remain for a few more questions. All right. shot the ball. Oh, no, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Shoot, that's what, I mean, yeah, we, we, we have the basketball down one. We tried to drive it. It hit every part of the rim. And, you know, last week it hit every part of the rim and dropped and gave us the, the win at the buzzer. This time it hit every part of the rim and came out. It went out of bounds off them. And Chris Brewer had, had a wide open... 12 foot jumper, 10 foot jumper. I mean, yeah, no, I'm, I'm a thousand percent fine with that. Mm -hmm. You want to give yourself time if, if if you don't make it to foul and get the ball back. So, yeah, a thousand percent fine with it. Great shot. Just didn't go in. Yeah, we do it every time. I mean, you know, who, who, yeah, and he didn't play great in terms of the numbers. I get it. But, you know, end of the game. He's won four games this year for us in that exact exact situation. And I mean, he drove the basketball. He got to the rim the first time, and it hit every single part of the rim and just lipped out. I mean, if that, you know, I mean, that's that's the game. You, uh, you know, that's the game. Sometimes it goes in. Tonight it didn't go in. We got the rebound. We ran the exact same play. They cut him off, and he had a 10-foot jumper at the elbow. I mean, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think that you know there was a momentum play there where we got a rebound and threw it out of bounds and fouled and 
then they I think they hit a three or something but yeah then they banked the three in it late in the first half to you know give them some life but at the end of the day we were up four with a minute to go you got to get a stop I mean you know we got to get a stop we've been a great defensive team for most of the year we guarded the three well almost the entire night and uh, McAdams hit a three from the top of the key you know we 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 the rest of the night, he didn't even get those off, really. So, you know, good play by them, good play by him. You know, that makes it one. And then, you know, we, we, we had a bad possession. And uh, and then Evans drove it and got fouled. And he stepped up and made his free throws. I mean, but, yeah, I mean, again, I'm going to continue to harp on this just because I am. Like, tonight, Akron beat us. Congratulations to them, and, and and good luck to them. But you know we're not going to let tonight define the year because that's not fair to the team. They won the regular season championship because of tiebreakers. We're the three seed. We could have just as easily been the one seed or the two seed if other teams were involved in the tiebreaker. Instead, because of how it was, we're the three seed. And you know what? We play Akron, and tonight they made one more play than us. But you know, we hadn't won a regular season championship to, since 2011. And uh, we did that this year. This senior group did it. And again, I, I, I'm just not, I'll answer every question. I have no problem answering every question. You guys who, who follow us know that I'll answer everything and I'll take whatever it is. But we're not going to define the year by tonight. It's just not going to happen. Sure, Elton's got something. Your feelings about the format of the tournament changed? You mentioned it's a three-way tie. Yeah, I, that was probably not the time, but I'm not a fan of it. You know, again, a normal tournament, we're not playing the seven seed. We're playing the six seed, right? When you're the three, three plays six, right? But that that sounds like sour grapes, so I'm not <laughs> – it is who it is. got to play who you play. I'm just I, – I haven't been a fan of it since it started, and – uh you know, we've been in that buy thing three out of the four years that I've been the coach, but you know, that's that's not what I. We should play Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, like every other tournament. Uh, you may have hit it already. Foul trouble just jumped on you right at the start. Of the yeah, second half we, you know, and again last time we played them, we went to the foul line thirty-five times. Tonight they went to the free throw line more than us. I'm not going to make a comment on that. I'm just going to say that that's what it was, <laughs> you know. And you're right. We fight, we we got a bunch of fouls early in the second half, and, uh, and they went to the line 17 times in the second half. We fouled them once late, intentionally, you know, to try to get the ball back. So they went to the foul line 15 times in the second half, and then we went 11. Uh, yeah, big time play by them. You know, we, we we did a great job guarding the three almost the entire evening. Two of their threes were banked in shots. I don't think they were intentionally banked in. Maybe they were, but they were banked in two of them by uh, Cheetah. Okay, so they hit a big one. That was a big one. He only hit one tonight. He's been shooting the ball great. Every time it leaves his hands, you think it's going in. Um, and he hit a big one for him. I mean, they're down four. If we could have gotten that stop, we probably would have won the game. But... You know what? Give them credit. They made the play. Who was on him most of the time? It looked like Manley. Yeah, Dev was on him, and they're probably, and again, I'd have to watch the film, but they flared in for him. It's something we had covered, and I think we switched it, but we switched it a little late, and Gary was on him. And again, it, it wasn't uncontested. I mean, it was highly contested. It's a big time shot by him. And, um, you know, he, he, he made a big one that they needed, and had he missed it, you, the, the outcome's probably different. I'd be the first one up here instead of the second one up here, probably. All right. Thanks, guys.